Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Cash. Neither. Let's go happy. Partnership like. Partners in what? Ten thousand dollars in cash surprises. Here, read about it. I mean out loud. American Wildlife Photo Contest. We got lots of wildlife around here. One thousand dollars in cash and prizes. The best photograph of American wildlife. Boy, we can't miss. Anybody can enter it. Why do I need you for a partner? Well, gee whiz, Joey. I don't have a camera. And I can sneak up on wild animals real good. Besides... Yeah, I know. It's your magazine. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, boy, I knew you'd go for it. Hey, Joey, how much does a roll of films cost? Well, how much you got? A dollar and a quarter. You don't have to show it to me. We'll go halfies on it, partner. Who's that? Nobody I ever saw before. Arthur, darling, are you all right? Yes, Mother. Oh, good morning. Will you tell Mr. Newton that Mrs. Patton is here? Oh, Miss Patton, he's expecting you. Are you the ones that moved into Livermore Ranch? Yes, we've just rented it for the summer. Arthur, darling, the sun's awfully bright. I think you'd better wait in the car. I'm all right, Mother. Good morning, Mrs. Patton. Good morning. I understand you're looking for a good saddle horse. Good and gentle. It's for my Arthur. Well, Arthur, I think we've got a couple in the corral just about your size. Would you like to pick one out? Yes, sir. May I, Mother? You're certain that they are gentle. Why, they're practically rocking horses, ma'am. Come on, Art, I'll show them to you. Don't run, dear. You'll get overheated. Oh, dear, I hope I'm doing the right thing. The only reason I'm getting a horse for Arthur is because the doctor thought the exercise and fresh air would be good for him. Well, I can't think of a better prescription for a growing boy. Watch out! Oh, that was a close call. Fury pushed you just in time. Arthur, darling, are you all right? I thought you said your horses were gentle. That spooky was a range horse, ma'am. Saddle horse is over there. Well, I'm afraid I am making a mistake. I think we can forget about a horse for Arthur. But, Mother, you promised. Oh, now, darling, Mother knows best. But you can't break your promise. You can't. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> poor baby. Here, dear. Here. <laughs> now, darling, you better go back and wait in the car. Mother, please. We'll talk about the horses later. You wait in the car. Oh, dear, that was the last pill. Where's the nearest drugstore? Oh, in, uh, in Capital City. Well, these are the only things that'll stop Father's wheezing. He can't be without them. I'll let you know what we decide about the horses. Boy, what a sissy. Oh, it's not very good to make snap judgments about people, Packy. You know, I bet that Arthur wouldn't be so bad if he could ever get loose from his mother's apron strings. Yeah, you may be right, Joey. But getting loose generally requires quite a bit of doing, and very often a helping hand. Hi, 
night, fellas. Hi. Arthur, dear, remember now, you promise not to overexert yourself. Yes, Mother. Oh, good morning, Mr. Newton. Good morning, Mrs. Patton. This is my partner, Pete Wilkie. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. How do you do? How are you, son? I feel fine, sir. Well, I'm glad you decided to let Arthur go riding today. He and the boys will have a lot of fun with their cameras. Are they going alone? When you telephoned me this morning, you assured me they'd have adult supervision. That's me, ma'am. They may run me ragged, but I'll try and stick close to them. Are we really going to see wild animals? Yeah, snarling grizzly bears and stampeding buffalo. Oh, Packy was only kidding. The wildest thing we'll probably see is, oh dear, maybe a jackrabbit. Will you keep these pills handy, Mr. Wilkie? Arthur knows when he needs one. Well, maybe you'll be so busy today, you won't have to take any. Oh, well, hardly a day goes by without one of his attacks. I'm glad you're going along, Mr. Wilkie. You'll be careful, won't you? Like a mother hen. Well, kiss me goodbye, dear. Oh, your lunch, I forgot. Oh, Pete had lunch planned, and he's one of the best cooks around here. Oh, I'm afraid Arthur must take his along with him. He's on a special diet. Now, don't forget your afternoon rest, darling. And don't miss me too much. I won't, Mother. Goodbye, Mrs. Patton. Bye. As soon as I get the lunch fixed, we'll leave. I'll get the horses, Pete. I'll help you. Oh, did you ever saddle a horse, Arthur? No, sir. Why don't you go see how Joey does it? Yes, sir. Nice polite boy. Mm-hmm. Outsider looking like he needed a little sunshine, appears to be healthy enough. Yeah, I've got a hunch there's not much wrong with him physically, Pete. Depends on those pills too much. Well, it ain't surprising with that mother of his pushing them at him all the time. Well, he ain't going to get none of them from me less than he really needs them. <laughs> You're welcome to use anything you like. Even this viewfinder? Sure. Oh. I reckon we'd better warn Arthur about Packy's sharp trading habits. Oh, Art's a big boy. Let him take care of himself. Not a bad idea. No, but I've always wanted one. I've got one. Hardly ever use it. It's got a can opener. And a corkscrew. Said to start taking pictures. So I see. What'd you sting him with? I gave him a good deal. <laughs> Give him his pills, but tell him not to take them unless he has to. Okay, Pete. I reached you on the phone, Jim, but there wasn't any answer. Oh, I was out in the pasture. Why? What's going on? Where's the Patton boy? Well, he's out on the range with Pete and the kids. We better get to him before it's too late. Why? There's been a terrible mistake. Mrs. Patton picked up the wrong bottle at the drugstore. The boy has a deadly poison. If he takes even one pill, he'll be dead in an hour. Let's go. You sure you're all right? 
right? Yeah, it's just another coughing spell. I don't need these now. Well, you better keep them with you just in case. I really don't like taking them. They make me sleepy. Well, it's your medicine. You know whether you need it or not. Yep. Well, seeing as how you're feeling better, you and the boys unhitch your belts while I cook up some hamburgers. Gosh, that doesn't look very inviting. I've gotten used to it. What is it? Grated carrot, sweet German seaweed. I like carrots, but with seaweed mixed in. Ugh. It must be very healthy for you. It's mother's recipe. Your mother's? Gosh, I'm sorry, Art. It slipped. Now I'll have to go without lunch. Oh, no, you don't. A hamburger beats that stuff any old day. I'm not allowed to eat hamburgers. Smells good. Tastes better. I'm not used to hiking so much. I, I better take a pill. Here, let me try. Here you go. I'm all right now. I'm going to try to get along without taking these if I can. Had a boy. Don't be a hero. Remember, if you start feeling really bad, take one. Can't find any wildlife standing around here. Let's get going. Okay, but let's stay close. If we get separated, the camp is straight east of here. They're off in the woods with the cameras. Arthur's medicine, have you got it? No, he has. He started wheezing, and I figured he better keep him close. Let's hope he didn't have to use it. What's up? He's got the wrong pills. A deadly poison. The antidote has to be administered promptly. We've got to find him. Well, come on. They can't be far off. I told him to stay within shouting distance. far from camp. Say, where's Arthur? I don't know. He's right behind you, Medico. Let's go look for him.
It's going to be hard to find anybody in these woods. Hey. Only nine pills. Prescription called for ten. Then he must have took one. If he did, we'd better find him or he's a gone goose. Well, it looks like we're on the right trail, but it still could take us a month of Sundays to find him. I'd better organize a search party. Well, that's a good idea, Tom. Look, why don't you get Bill Simpson on that helicopter of his? The rest of us will keep looking and we'll mark a trail so you can follow us. Right. That's right, there's three of them. Packy Lambert, Arthur Patton, and Joey Newton. <laughs> Notify the search parties. Notify Bill Simpson, too. I'll be in constant radio contact. I've got the walkie-talkie here with me. Right. Over and out. Pilot Simpson to Sheriff. Over. Go ahead, Simpson. I'm reading you. Over. I'm just passing over you. Any instructions? You know the score, Simpson. Crisscross the forest as low as you can. Report anything you see. Have you seen any of the searching parties yet? The trees must be hiding part of the searchers. I can see two parties heading north. Well, keep a bearing on them. And if you spot the boys, we can move the closest group in to pick them up. We'll go, Sheriff. Over and out. All right, boys, let's go. I hear you, Simpson. Over. I've covered all the small timber to the north. Good visibility. Nobody in this section. But what's your next sweep? The big trees to the south. I'll go down as close as I can. Well, you can't see much through them. Follow the creek. The boys might have stuck close to it. And you can come in closer there. OK, Sheriff. Over and out. Well, at least it looks like we've narrowed it down to this section of the forest. Well, that's something. Sign of them? Nothing. I don't understand it. They should have been found by now. Well, it's mighty rough country, Jim. Hard to cover. Well, no use asking you anything. Nope. One thing I can say, them kids ain't been over any of the ground Doc and me just covered. And this is Jim Newton. You know Fury, Joey's horse? Yeah, Jim, sure. Well, take another look, will you? Jim, that isn't Fury, it's his twin brother. Well, he's probably on Joey's trail. Which way is he headed? The old Indian Grove. Well, follow him, will you, and keep in touch with us? find Arthur in a jiffy. Hey, look, it's Fury. The helicopter seems to be chasing him. I wonder who they're looking for. Maybe it's us. We better go tell them it's Arthur that's lost.
Fury. See if you can bring him to. What are you trying to do to me? Easy, easy, son. We just want to give you this antidote. Antidote? What for? I feel you took was poison, Arthur. Poison? Here, hurry and take this. I don't need that now, doctor. But I sure would have if I hadn't made up my mind to try to do without my medicine. Hey, Simpson, what are you hanging around for? Next thing you know, we'll have to send a search party out to look for you. Go on home, and thanks a lot. We'll go, Sheriff. Over and out. Hold it. I still can't forgive myself for spoiling your chance in the wildlife contest. Oh, forget it. Sure, I'd much rather have a picture of Fury and all my pals around him than any old wild animal. Hey, Fury, what do you think you're doing? He just wants to see what we look like. Look what he looks like, right, Fury? <laughs> Chow's on. Come and get it. Hamburger and all the trimmings. Hamburgers? Also, now, Mom, that... you promised to let me make up my own mind about things. Dish about Pete, we're coming. 